that, gang? Mm-hmm. You see it? You see it? You see it? Yep, this is the next part of the series. Yep, 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 yep. All that is on the side of my notebook. Help me keep track of what the heck it is I'm doing. Let's get that side of that. Anywho. This is the first part of this is my mother's makeup with the exception to everything that she, she she gave me and so on and so forth. And then we move over into the Avon, which is pretty much the stuff that started me off on my makeup journey. Okay. So I'm actually going to go this way so I can talk about my mom's stuff last. Now, excuse me. I do still have some of the lipstick from the first lipstick she ever gave me. It's in one of my palettes and I'll have to show it to you some other time. These are, this is some of the newer stuff that, that Avon's had in the past year or so. But these are lip liners and they're glaze wear. So they're supposed to go with the lip glosses. That's the only thing I don't have set out so I'll show that to you in a minute. But the two lip palettes that they had. I got both of those. And this is a mark sample of a hookup. If it will cooperate for five seconds. Damn. Piece of something. Anyway, yeah. Glow Baby Glow Hookup Lip Gloss. Peekaboo and Pink Crush. Isn't that exciting? And then this is one of the first lip glosses that she ever gave me. Hold on. Here, stay at that for a minute. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did a little digging in that one. And then got some, got another pencil over here. A couple other little fat pencils. This particular color right here is called Cherry Jubilee. Now, if anybody has ever watched this thing called Trantasia, there is this one uh, transsexual, yes, and her name is DeRay. She was actually on last season's America's Got Talent. She was a Tina Turner impersonator. But she told a story about how she would play in her mother's makeup. And her mother came home early one day and she was like, you've been playing in my makeup. She's like, no, I haven't. Yes, you have. You got my lipstick on. It's all over you. And that's the one she was talking about. Cherry Jubilee. Because it's this really, as you can see, really pretty burgundy color. But it stains your lips. <laughs> These are some of the ones that my mom had in her arsenal back in the day when she was selling it. That one right there, I believe, is my grandmother's. I think I found that one or something. I can't remember the story behind that one. She ordered that one. Let me see what else. She had this one and gave it to me. She ordered that one and I think she ordered that one too. Something like that. But anyway. There's a little brush and stuff that they have. And then these are some of their liquid. Hold on. I feel like I'm shouting. Anyway, these are some of their liquid uh, eyeshadows. Focus, please. Focus, baby. Thank you. These are the little glitterati mascaras that they had out through the holiday. This is the foundation sponge doohickey and holder. I'm not that crazy about it. This is one of my first eye primers. It needs work. Because it's, yeah. This is a mineral eyeshadow. I don't particularly care for mineral makeup, but oh well, that's just me. I'm entitled to that opinion. Anywho, this is a peach blush that she had for a while. This is the face perfector that they talk about now. This is a concealer. This is a 
nail polish. They came in some kind of little kit like thing. Now I have this. I ordered the silver one. The heifer never got it. She never got it for me. Here's a water resistant. No. It's a wash off waterproof. And here's my wash off waterproof and shock mascaras. And then you got the look alert things. And then I have some pencils here. This is a brow fix powder type of thing. These colors I used to rock all through junior high and high school because I didn't know any better. I didn't have much of a choice. These are, I've used these as well. And these were my mother's. And these, this was in the, I don't know if anybody remembers this, but this is the patchwork kit. kit. And there is a perfume bottle with this same design on it. I think there was something else, but I can't remember what it is. But anyway, I don't even have the label to the back of the thing anymore. Now, like I said, we're starting to go over into the stuff that my mom had. This is an Aziza thing. It's supposed to be, I think it's supposed to be like a, it's supposed to say, it says it's an eye gloss or highlighting shadow. So I'm assuming that you just put it above. I don't know who the heck made that pencil, but it's like a charcoal color. I used to swipe these from my mother all the time. These were my favorite lip glosses to put on. This, I think, is another Aziza thing. It's a shadow. This is a concealer, and compared to my mom's coloring, it was not her color. Because she was a brown woman with some serious red undertones. Every bit of Native American came through in my mom. The These guys right here are the first cream shadows I'd ever seen. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can do this with one hand or not. Probably not. I'll try give you an idea of what they look like very carefully but yeah so those are the first cream shadows that I, I, I ever I'd ever seen and there was uh, so there's two sets of those and then you have these blush sticks which are totally different compared to what there are now and these are also Avon the cream shadows this guy right here this guy right here, and that one, and the found and her foundation. Those are all Avon. This little bonbon thing right here is made by Dorothy Gray. I can't get it open, but it's a real pretty color too. I can't do it one with one hand. I don't feel like setting the camera down again. But anyway, and this is what I keep her stuff in. And then this is what I keep all the rest of the Avon in. As you can see, these are all the glaze wares and the plump lip glosses, plumping lip glosses and so on and so forth, except for the clear ones. I put all of my clear lip glosses together, but these are the rest of them. So, yeah. That's all of that. That's everything on the Avon and so on and so forth. And I do have a video on the glaze wears as I went over them so that should be I don't know I may attach it to this one just so people can see what the glaze wears are about but that is it there's plenty of other stuff that I would have liked to have had over time but the Avon lady that I was dealing with while I still what when I was still at the, the plant and everything she tripped a lot so and she wound up pissing me off more than anything else i would spend a nice chunk of change with this woman at a time and she had the nerve to actually forget one of my orders she didn't place the order then she placed another one because she felt like i owed her this and i owed her that lady whoo and the lady that was helping her she treated her like shit so yeah, I'm glad I don't have to deal with either one of them anymore for this mess. So if I think I, I think if I want any more Avon, I'm going to go straight through the site. I, I don't have time for people's hang-ups and, and all of that stuff. I just, I can't deal with it. So, that said, this is everybody. This is all the stuff. One last look at everything. I didn't have enough room to pull those out. But 
it'll be all right. And plus, everybody has already seen my fragrance collection. I just haven't broken that down yet to one company or another. And I'm Avon is probably like the biggest selection that I have. That and Victoria's Secret, maybe. Plus some of the little fake alikes that I like. So we'll see if I decide to do that kind of series. I don't know. This one right here was exhausting enough. So yeah. I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you for watching. Bye.